Hey everyone, my name is Bradley Pearson, and today we're going to be restoring your family photos. And go. Over time, your photos can get really damaged. You can get fingerprint smudges, mold, dirt, they can get straight up scratched, mice, literally anything. Thankfully, we have tons of technology to help us, and sometimes our photos even look better than they originally did. So we can take a photo like this and turn it into this. First things first, let's get it digital. I recommend a high quality scanner, especially if you have a lot of photos to scan. This one can scan up to 6,400 DPI or resolution. And if you have lots of film or photo slides, you're going to need one that can do it too. It's important to make sure that you use a high resolution scanner because if you scan it at 300 dpi, you'll be able to double the image's size. When I scan, I do my photos at 600 dpi and my photo slides at 2400 dpi. If you aren't interested in scanning your own photos, you can take them to a company that will do them for a price. Once it's digital, you're going to want to use a photo editing software to fix it up. Today we're going to be using Photoshop, which has a lot of features but requires a paid subscription. If you don't want to use Photoshop, you can also use a free online version of it called Photopea. It's a little different, but works just about the same. So the first thing you're going to want to do when you get into Photoshop is come over to this cropping tool. When you click on it, the straightening tool will appear at the top. Zoom into your photo. Take the straightening tool and draw a line. Click and hold and draw a line across the bottom. It'll straighten your image for you. And then you can crop in the sides. Sometimes in these photos, Grandma wasn't quite holding the camera straight. So one thing you can do is take that straightening tool, find a horizontal line in the image, and align it again. You then can crop off the access, and you have a perfectly aligned photo. Now that you've got the image cropped, come over to the spot healing tool. And when you have it, go to the damaged sections and just click and drag. Cover the little areas, and it'll get rid of the damage for you. You can even come to these little dots, the mold, the scratches, and get rid of them. If there's any destroyed sides like this, you can just do the exact same. Draw over it, drag. And the image will fill it in. Let's say you have a circular photo that doesn't have corners. One thing you can do is use this spot healing tool to fill them in. The spot healing tool works by dragging the other elements from around these spots to fix the thing that looks out of place. Now that you've got all the damage removed, you might want to adjust the color. One trick that I use is clicking Control Shift L, which removes all of the color. So if it's a sepia tone photo, it'll reconvert it back to black and white. If there's different color damage, once again, back to black and white. Then you want to adjust the levels in the photos 
by clicking Control Shift U. This will adjust the contrast to be exactly where it should be. If it's a color photo, you might want to come to the top, click Image, Adjustment, and then use these different features to adjust the image. There's brightness, levels, hue and saturation, and by adjusting the little bars that appear, you'll be able to get the color just how you'd like it. By the way, when you're working on these photos, make a copy of the original scan, so that way if you make a mistake, you don't have to rescan the photo. Now that you've got the damage removed, you might notice that the faces could look more crisp. I like to use my heritage to enhance the photos. By uploading the photos here, my heritage can use its technology to enhance the faces. As you can see, the faces are much more clear, and I can even see where I need to go back and fix some additional damage. Once you have your enhanced image, Put it back into Photoshop and remove the little watermark that was created using MyHeritage. You now have your perfectly restored photo. With the faces crisp and the damage gone, you now have a restored image. If I were you, I would share it with as many family members as you can. These photos mean a lot to other people, and it's a super simple way to connect with your extended family. So, if it's not perfect the first time, don't get discouraged. It just takes practice.